Do you remember your first ever night in prison? Yes. I remember my first night in prison because approximately then I lost my father. Which is where um, someone called me to the door. What, just I, a prisoner? Yeah, no, just a prisoner. Random yeah, prisoner. Random. I said, oh, it's cell 22. Come to your door. So I've come to my door. The guy sounded like some gorilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, this guy sounds mad. Yeah. Like you're on job, like. Yeah. You better comply, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you better comply. You don't know who's behind that yeah. door. Yeah, man. So, man, I appreciate that, man. But, yeah, what would you like to ask me? And Oh, yeah? Yeah, bro. Come on. Do your thing. All right, let me get to my notes. All right, first of all, I want to ask, like, just to, like, for my channel and for people that don't know, might not know who you are. All right. Like, just to tell us a bit about yourself, okay. a bit about, like, your background, where you come from. Okay. Like, what type of guy you was. Because okay. I know you're doing this change thing now, yeah, but man. what type of guy you was before you decided to... All right. My name, obviously, I'm Guled. Everyone knows me as Guled. I don't really go as a nickname. Some people call me at Marzi, some people... But a lot of people, 80% of people that know me in, it, in jail or on the streets, they know me as Guled, innit? Yeah. So that's my name, innit? And I'm currently, I'm 31 years old. Yeah. I mean, thank God, alhamdulillah, that I've reached that age. You know what I mean? And I come from a background where, you know, um, from the age of, you know, from a youngster, I've been really, I don't know, I've, I've, I want to say, I was just naughty. I was really naughty. Some people said I had ADHD. Yeah, I yeah. just think they just labelled me yeah, as that yeah, yeah, just yeah. to make themselves comfortable yeah, and just yeah. give me a, you know what I mean? I think I was just misguided a bit. I was about to say that. Yeah, I was yeah. just a bit misguided, bro. That's to be honest with you. Um, from the age of eight, I got kicked out of primary school for beach, breaking the teacher's arm. Swear down. Yeah, man. And How then, did you manage to break a teacher's arm at eight, bro? So basically, what she did was she tried to hold my arm in it. Yeah, yeah. And told me sit down, sit down. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. I was just like, so I just dashed. It. I swung it about and put my leg out. And oh. I just put her leg. She fell over and she landed on her arm. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She yeah, bust yeah. her arm. So from there, they excluded me from primary school. As they did that, what they tend, what they tend to do was. I didn't go to school, so I got kicked out of primary school. Yeah. They banned me from every secondary school yeah. in the borough. For well, every secondary yeah, school? Yeah, I've never been secondary school in my life. Swear down. Yeah, bro. You talk well, though. You talk Thank well you, man. Yeah. That's but that's, the, that's what jail done for me when I was reading a lot of books in jail. Yeah, yeah, I learned yeah. how to read in the block. Swear down. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, you'd have... You, yeah, I read yeah, that. I, can't, I didn't have... The, I would have lost my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to open the, the book. Block. I was breaking yeah. that... And it actually, God helped me, innit? It was God, innit? At first, I started with the Quran. Yeah. The Quran helped me. Again, I read, I read the Quran. I see how the, the prophets used to move, how they used to conduct themselves back yeah. them days and that. That inspired yeah, you. Yeah, that inspired me. So I started reading um a lot of urban books, the cartels. You know, you know about the cartels? I've, yeah, I've read them type Come of books again, as well. Monster Cody, In the block as well, again, yeah. Monster Cody, um, Redemption by Tuka Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah I read that Crips, one. Yeah, get yeah, me? Yeah, all yeah, of that yeah, in yeah, it. So yeah. um, Martina McCall, the Irish, girl, the Irish woman, I've read that. The Secret. Secret, yeah, I the yeah, secret yeah, with yeah. a lot of small books. So I read the secret as well. So I cut a lot of things in it. So yeah, man. So but from the young age, um, I was gonna just cut in. Yeah, do you feel like you see because you was already bad and then you was banned from all of these schools and and whatever? Do you feel? Did you feel like you had to live up to that reputation that you kind of already have of being like a bad you? Is that why? You, you know what, man. To be honest with you, man. Um, I had a lot of. You know what I mean? I would say my mum. My mum's a tough woman, isn't it? Yeah. I big up my mum, innit? She had six boys by herself. Yeah. My father was, he was d there, but he's not really there. You know what I mean? I lost my father from the age of 15. Sorry you know what I mean? Problem. And mom, him and my mum split it up when, when the age of eight. So that's yeah, where it yeah. kicked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I may have been angry with the fact that my dad was not around and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I don't know, innit? Like, but because of that. Yeah, I believe, sorry, just to cut, I, I believe yeah, that people ain't just bad. It's not just bad, just nah, like that. Nah. Yeah, there's a lot of things in life that trauma. Yeah, trauma. But that, yeah. you just never clock it, and you yeah. have certain antisocial behaviors that make you behave the way you are. And you don't, sometimes you don't even know why you're, you're acting out, kind of thing. Yeah, but, you don't know why you're bugging out. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. But sometimes you're bugging out because maybe like you're bruised you're somewhere in your soul. soul yeah, you're bruised, yeah, 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 in it, yeah, yeah. and you need Shit. someone to talk to and to, you know what I mean, to just let yourself out to. So, but yeah, and then when I realized from the age of thirteen, obviously, as I said, um. I went into care in it. Okay. I went into care because I was wild. Now I was in the school. I was that kid that used to be outside people's school. 
yeah, yeah, robbing these kids and robbing yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. People used to hide before I used to come yeah, there. Yeah, now yeah. these there's people that message me and say, you know, you know, I used to hide before you used to come out. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. wait for you to leave. <laughs> I swear to God, I was a little rogue rat. I was yeah, like five yeah, foot. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. a villain. Yeah. I was a five foot villain yeah. for some reason, didn't it? But that was, you know what I mean? Then afterwards, um, <laughs> they put me in care. And my mum, she didn't really know how to speak English. Okay, yeah. You know, yeah. so there was no one to go to back her up and give her the rights and stuff like that. And they gave, they said to you know, we've uh, put this guy in jail and put him in a secure unit or we're going to put him into local authority care. Yeah. And my mum was panicking because she got her other five kids there yeah, yeah. and she don't want all of them to be taken away from her by social services. So in a way, she's like, all right, cool, if you can manage him, manage him because I, cause I can't manage him. So they put me in care. Was you the only, yeah. was you the only one out of your family that yeah. ended up in care? In care, yeah. Yeah, bro. What about guy in jail and that? Was you the only one as well? No. Nah. Oh, I have a brothers. I've got three brothers in jail right now. Oh, I swear down. Yeah, blood brothers. Wow. Deep in it, my mum. Yeah, deep yeah. on my mum, bro, Stressful, man. Stressful, yeah. Look, imagine that, man. Imagine just one child. Imagine having all them kids. There was one point where all four of us was in jail. And people, ladies in the area, families in the area used to laugh at my mum behind her back, yeah. talk behind her back. And yeah, say, yeah, Look yeah. at her kids. Her kids are... Look at them now. But yeah. now... And karma, been... karma's mad, isn't it? Obviously, I don't believe in karma, but what goes around comes around. Now their kids are in prison. Now their kids are going through what my yeah, mama... Yeah, 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 but, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'll just say, you know what? Never, ever look down on no one, car. It could be you one day. Yeah. You know don't, what I mean? Don't judge. Yeah, never judge no one, innit? So, yeah, man. So, yeah, man, I went into care. I was living in Tottenham for a bit. Yeah, that's in White Hart Lane. Yeah, you yeah. get me? I was living in White Hart Lane, love and care. Yeah. I was living in love and care for a bit. I lived outside London. I loved, lived in Romford. Yeah. Bare care, there different care. So by the time I got to jail, was that making you angry with society? And and did that did that make you a bit like being in care, not being with your brothers and your your family? And that did that make you like not angry, but like it just undercover angry? Do you know, just make just make me want to feel like a one man soldier. Yeah, yeah. So when yeah. I went into jail, I knew how to stand by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. always by myself. Yeah, yeah. So okay. it's like I felt like the the care home system and the jail home system it was like the same to me. You get it? Because yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. same people. I'm seeing people, the govs are like, the like, yeah, they're, yeah, they're key workers yeah. and the staff in it. Like, yeah. it's people I don't know. Authorities. Isn't the authorities. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm immune to it. Yeah, so yeah. it didn't really affect me. So I'm just thinking it's normal to me. Yeah, you yeah. understand? Like, I'm coming out, I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm leaving my care home for like two, three weeks. I'm on 13, 14 years old and I'm just gone for two, three weeks. And you had no guidance really being in the care yeah, home. Yeah, man. No you know guidance. what I mean? I had my auntie, don't get me wrong. Then I end up coming out, I end up coming out of the care home. My auntie end up, um, no, I, my auntie ended up taking me under her care. She do, she do, you know what I mean? Because that was my dad's sister. Yeah. You know, I'll look after my nephew. Yeah. And from there, I stayed with my auntie. But from there, I went to prison. Okay, what yeah. did you go to prison for? Um, I went to prison at the time for robbery. Robbery? Yeah. What, street robbery? or? Um, basically, I robbed my one guy. I was going to a centre. There was a place called Centre. You know how you got sentenced? Like, um, in, like you know, with, for bad kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went yeah, to a yeah, little centre. Yeah. There was one, you, you had a gold chain. I just, him. Yeah, no, I just took him. I said, like, "Come, let's go." And then I just took him in the alley and just jerked him for his chain. Then he ended up snitching on me. But I ended up seeing the same you in jail two years later for 18 accounts of armed robbery. Swear down, the fucker, fam. <laughs> and and he snitched on you. He snitched on me, bro. So what uh, would you class him as a snitch? Because he was yeah, a man, definitely, man. That's what's up, man. But what? Um, why did you decide to start your channel? And like, when? Like, how long was you? In, first of all, how long was you in jail for? Like, how long? Was you going jail for? Because that was your first. Yeah, so going jail yeah, for. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going jail in and on and off for from the age of fifteen to twenty three. So you know I mean, man, yeah, but obviously my last setting, my actual last in case that I got convicted for was in two thousand and ten. Two thousand and ten. Yeah, another star fuller. Yeah, two thousand and ten. Yeah. Ten years ago. Ten years. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Quote plank again. Ten years. I respect that. Yeah. Get me, bro. Ten years. You've definitely changed because they, they say like. Within your first year. But my first, sorry to interrupt, but my first conviction was when I was 10 years old. Shit, then. Yeah. Fucking hell. That's what I'm trying to say. So it went from boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so yeah. I went clear for the last, through my 20s. But by then, I'm already in the system because they put me, they gave me an EPP. They were meant to give uh, me an IPP, you know? Yeah, you're lucky because yeah. that's just say robberies back then. Woo! I know. Yeah. You're flinging it. Man, yeah. I was getting flinging, flinging IPP. IPP. But yeah. I get lucky I met a yardie brother and he was in my education class in Scrubs. And I just looked at him. That man had he had Shakespeare writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was sick. I looked at him. and said, "You know, you you have to write me a letter to the judge." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I told him, "Bye, bye." And the judge and read the letter, and the judge came out and said, "You know what? Today, Gulen Hassan, I was going to sentence you to IPP sentence. However, yeah. I've read your letter and I've took that into consideration. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you EPP sentence. That means EPP means extended pub and on license. So I had an extra two years on license. Yeah, and do you have to do two thirds of your sentence as well? No, nah, it's half. Oh, it's half. That's yeah. what I got there before then, innit? Yeah, because now they're doing Ooh, two thirds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. It's fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it's fire, cool. man. Do you know what? You have to thank God. That's a blessing because yeah, man. You, you don't know. You'd probably still be in jail now. I know, I, yeah, and I, 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 was, I was hot tempted in jail as well, so I would bit got bare yeah, dickens, bro. Yeah, and then it, it turns into a cycle. Cause I know if you, bear man, you already know as well. You know, bear man, that's doing IPP right now, mm. and it just turns into a cycle because you're in jail. Yeah. Jail is a draw route as it is, so yeah. you got man them drawing you out. You got govs drawing you out. Govs drawing you out. Everyone's drawing you out. Everyone's drawing you out, and then you have to do something. And then because it's a, a life license, your parole's every two years. So you can do something like you can just do something small or minor. Get yeah, twenty four months, and you can get swallowed again. And, and get yeah, and then psh, and it just it turns into a cycle. It must be heartbreaking for them man there, you know. Ever going to pro and getting refused pro, and you got there's a lot of man that went past their tariff. Yeah, wait, right, right, way right, right, way right. past their tariff, bro. Way past it. Ah, it's cold, man. Because most of the when they were given the IPP, like you said, it was for like robberies and stuff. Yeah, yeah most of the tariffs are like two years, mm. four years, mm. and most of the man. A lot of man that I know has been in jail getting two year tariffs here since 2007, mm -hmm. 2005. Two year tariffs, four year tariffs, and they're still in right now. Man, my age as well, which is peak as well. Man, I'm, I'm 30 years old, yeah. So, man, my age, you're getting IPPs and doing more than people that are doing murder, coming up from their murder because it, it, cause it, they're coming up for their murder. And these man, because it's IPP and it's, the, the parole thing is it's long and everything like that. These men are still in jail and it's just, it's peak. It's been abolished, I, I forgot to say as well. It's been abolished years ago. I think it got abolished in 2011 or 12 or mm -hmm. something like that. But IPP has been abolished, but there's still, I think around 2,000 men in prison right now um, in IPP, still doing IPP, yeah, which is sad, wrong. Sad, man. Yeah. Sad, man. But yeah, man. It's sad, my bro. Um, so, yeah, so after doing all that time, in jail and, and um, you said 2010 was the last time mm. what was it that clicked in your head that made you think this is long for me because a lot of people are in and out and you kind of that okay. you kind of learned a lot you you learned a lot you learned early yeah i'm a happy lot, i'm happy early. i learned it earlier than when i was older yeah, yeah. i don't want to be in there when i'm in my 40s bro yeah it's a joke too, that's, that's sad man imagine you, you're in the exercise yard and you're arguing with a 21 year old and that can be your son it gets like that though it actually it's, doesn't it, it it gets like that yeah you <laughs> see you see that hey, bro. Yeah, it's mad. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. I see, like, I see fathers and sons in jail. Banged up together. Banged up together. Wow. They're on the wing together. Wow. You know what I mean, father and son is peak. But. You As did, you say, yeah. Yeah, you did learn, you did learn early, and I respect that, because they say that in your first year, if you can make it past your first year, then you, you'd be all right. Do you know what I mean? If you can stay out of trouble for your first year, then you'd be all right and get past your license and things like this. But what was it that clicked in you? That made you think, I'm I'm never yeah. doing this again, bro. I knew I deserved better, bro. Yeah. I knew this was not written for me. Yeah, yeah. I knew I was destroying myself with my own hands. Yeah. And I ain't got no one else to blame. Every all thoughts on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I started taking blame for myself and the way I conduct myself, before I used to play my thing. Oh, it's cause I, it's cause I was in care, or it's cause I lost my dad, mm. or it's cause of this. I, all right, cool, that has happened. But when it comes to this real life, people don't care about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need to put that aside. I, I said to myself, you know what? I owned up to, you know what I mean, my mistakes and stuff like that. And it was my choice that I wanted to change, bro. So that's, yeah, man. I respect that. So yeah, um, man. obviously years later now, yeah, you started this Inspire for Change thing. Do you want to tell us a bit about... You know what? Inspire for Change came from, you know, the way it came about, yeah. I was, I was going to a certain community centre in Bush. And there was a couple of people in it. They called ATM in it, anti tribal movement in it, something like that. And there was a couple of sisters in there in it. Mashallah, they were pretty, you know. Yeah. Yeah, me, so I'm there, I'm, I'm yeah. all there, all looking all akied off and that in it, yeah, with a shirt yeah, and that, yeah. thinking, yo, looking Kameez like a and that, yeah, yeah. You know, not even like nah, Kameez, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, nah. With a shirt, trousers right. tucked in and everything, shirt tucked in and that in it, yeah. with shoes and that in it. So I'm trying to, I was trying to blend in. Yeah, cool. So I see a couple of people there. And there was one sister that I was chatting to and she said, you know what? I had the name Inspire for Change and all right. I said, what? Let me bang that line out for you. Yeah, yeah. Give me that in it. Yeah. And she said, yeah, yeah, bam. Yeah, man, you could take that name. You know what? I was going to start setting up with that. But you know what? 
if you feel like you want to do something, and, and to be honest with you, I knew what I could do in it. So I was like, you know, let me take that name. But at the same time, I was trying to show off to her, like saying, yo, I'm on your side, innit? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. do this, innit? Yeah, you get me? And from there, I just, I started first, I started, Inspire for Change came out of a thing where I was just focusing on just Muslim people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brothers. The, yeah, brothers, yeah. yeah. Everything I was giving out, I was giving out deen, hadiths, and reminders. I was all talking about Islam and that. And then I said to him, you know what, Gulad, yeah? You've been through everything in this in this in this country, in it. Like you've seen everything, you've seen everything in care. You've got bare manners from bare different backgrounds. Why are you limiting yourself? Give me. I've got brethren that are not Muslim, so why can't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. I'm trying to like putting that, and I don't feel like that's right in a way in it because this is all God's creation. Yeah. So I said to myself, you know, what? I want to help everyone from all walks of life. Respect. Yeah. Give me, and that's what's up. And so from there, I said to myself, you know what? I switched it up, and that's that's when I started doing this motivational thing. Then I went back to the probation centre. Yeah, the put the probation office that I was going to and where I was going to on license, and I knocked on the door like, "Hello, yeah, I had my shirt on. You right, miss yeah today? You know what? I spoke to one woman, big up Tola. Give me if Tola sees it, big up Tola, some yeah. Jamaican woman. She said to me, so, you know what, Tola, well, go on. Da, 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 da. I used to come here like ten like ten years ago. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like a good eight years ago, I used to come here, but now I'm a reform guy. Give me a chance in it, and she see my energy. So, you know what? Come back at two thirty. We're starting a workshop and I want you to be a part of it. Right. See how, yeah, you don't know. That's, how you, have to, you have to knock on doors. Yeah, 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 you don't know where your blessing's yeah, coming from, bro. Exactly, yeah. So I was just knocking on doors, knocking on doors. I came from there and when she saw me, she said, yo, this guy's fire. She could get so you should end up calling. She could end up calling the director. Yeah. Linda. She runs the whole probation service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the yeah, London. Yeah, yeah. And she ended up seeing my videos and stuff. And they started taking me to bare different uh, now nah, then what they started doing after the workshops and stuff I was treating you know certain man that came out of jail certain man that on community service and that I was training them up I was showing them how to do in CVs disclosures and stuff like that and when they saw that they said oh, my man's fire, fire was, yeah. this guy's fire then, then they end up making me train probation officers how to treat us yeah yeah bro and they started paying me like Whoa, two, that's, that's, they started paying me 250 an hour Swear. Yeah, bro. Don't worry, man. We got this, man. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We got. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, don't yeah, worry. Yeah. Get me. They started doing that. You get me. Some boom, boom, boom. Nah, the that's lady. Big, yeah. get me, they took me Waterloo. There's a big headquarters, probation headquarters in Waterloo. The lady Linda came in there. She started crying in front of me. Swear. She said, I saw your video. I saw your pain. Yeah, yeah. The fact that you lost your father. The fact that you didn't care. Yeah. But the probation. Of, you've turned it around. Yeah, and yeah. the and the probation didn't even take that. In, they, they didn't take that into consideration. They didn't think about your emotions yeah, while yeah. you was broken. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. And you now you're telling me where we're going wrong. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. And uh, this, from this day on, I had some girl, some 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 Somalian girl. She DM'd me and she said, "You know what? I see one of your videos. I said, which video? The one that you was doing a probation and and and, and you was teaching the probation officers. I said, when did you see that? I saw it a couple months ago. No way. So they're still using my video from this day. Wow. And they're training them with that video. Yeah. Hey, yo, that's big, man. I'm telling you, bro. That's it. That's, get me. And big, that came out. Yeah. I know. And that's from God. Yeah. Get me. Obviously, yeah. After I was God, man, I started connecting to God, man, and yeah. from God, because I, when I found God, I felt like I was never alone again. Oh so, yeah. I didn't need no one else, bro. That's big. Before we hey. started this co podcast, you, you went and prayed. Like, yeah, man. I have to uh, keep it 100 yeah, always, yeah, man. You get me? That. Yeah, man. It's the energy and that, man. God always puts me in the right place. So I feel like whoever comes in my life, that's a bonus. But if I got God there. I don't need it. Like, I can go with him without anyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing that, get me? So. Like your head's definitely in the right place. Thank you, that's bro, big, man. Big respect, bro. Yeah, that's, yeah I respect yeah. it, man. Come on. But yeah, man. So, like, um, as well, can you tell us just a bit about what you, other than that, yeah? Because I've seen, I seen a video where you was um, helping someone to get rehabilitated. Yeah, man, doing a, food, a couple of GoFundMe's now. Oh, yeah, and the GoFundMe thing as well, yes. For the man they were coming out of jail as well. Yeah, yeah. I got two, so I got two GoFundMe's. One of them's about um, five different individuals from five different backgrounds. It could be any, no, not five different guys, any background. Yeah. They could be Muslim, Jewish, Christian, yeah, yeah, Buddhist. Yeah. I don't care, innit? Yeah. You get me? Souls don't have colour, innit? You yeah, get me? I, I want to help whoever, innit? Yeah. Um, raise £5,000. So, you know, sometimes you come out of jail, you're like, people are broke. Like, yeah, and then you like, get back to crime. Yeah, man. It's yeah. just that little thing that makes yeah. you go back into crime. Yeah. So I want to help them with their suits, if they need a deposit or stuff like that. But obviously, I'm going to assess the person before I give them the money. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm going to see, I'm going to read their energy. Assessment. I can yeah, read yeah, your yeah, energy yeah. straight away. Like, if you're on some Mickey Mouse thing, yeah. if you're on a Mickey Mouse thing, then I'll say, you know, I'm going to call you back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Come on. Me, so yeah, I started my YouTube. So then from there, from my Inspire for Change, that I had that there running for a bit. Then obviously, I had a couple of people on there. Then I had my brother, Bobby. Yeah. Bobby Kazanga, he was doing his thing, he was mashing it, mashing it, it's Hackney F uh, Hackney Wick FC, he was just doing his thing, putting in so much work, putting in so much. I met Bobby in jail 
And then Bobby just interviewed me on one of his shows. And then yeah. when he interviewed me on Big Ego, one of his YouTube channels. Oh, Big, is that Bobby? Yeah, yeah that's Big Bobby. Ego. Yeah, yeah Big Ego. Thing, yeah, him yeah. thing. So he interviewed me on there. And from there, a lot of people gave me feedback from there saying, yo, start up your own thing. Yeah. And then Bobby just gave me that extra push as well. So yo, do your thing, bro. Do your thing, man. You know what I mean? Do your thing, man. This is your passion. And from there, I pushed it. And then, yeah, man, three, three month, two, three months later, I'm just... That's big, man. And it's, I think it's good that you've done it as well because you look like you enjoy what you're doing. Like You're a really good storyteller as well. Yeah, man. I can do it for free. You know what? One thing I've realised in life, yeah, bro, like, if you can do something for free, that's your passion. Cause I can talk for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah, if yeah. I'm giving people value, forget about the money. The money will come. Yeah, yeah. My job is to just give people value. Respect, yeah. You understand? So people need to find their passion. Like, right now, some, people, some, some man can play football all day long for free. Understand? I can talk for free. Certain people can go gym. I'm just, so find your passion, and once you find your passion, and you give people value, that want the money will come. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. Big respect. And, and, all right. I'm gonna ask you some questions about your experience in jail now, because that's kind of what my channel is about. Okay. Um. Do you remember your first ever night in prison? Yes, I remember my first night in prison, cause approximately then I lost my father. Really? Yeah, man. So just just before that, I just lost my dad, and that's when I was fifteen. When I lost my pops in him, I mean, I have mercy on him, and he gave me yeah, he's calm. He gave me that, like, and when I lost my pops, that like, that was a little shock to me as well. Innit? So I went into prison on that note. So I've told the govs. I think it must have been hella emotional, like. But I was still, I was numb, man. I just numb, wanted it. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it. Sometimes certain things don't kick in until you get older. Yeah. You yeah. just get immune to it, but you don't know it's damaged you, but it's damaged, damaged you, but you don't know you, how yeah. it's damaged you. Yeah. And it's like 100%. only someone that has done psychology, someone that has learned stuff like that, they will know what's yeah. what's up with you. So when I lost my dad, I was like, you know, I went in prison, then I told the girls thinking that they're going to give me I don't know. I don't. I expected a hug or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just told yeah, them, yeah, 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 you lost your dad, yeah. They left yeah. the light on. Yeah. They put me on a app dock. Oh, uh, an act. So yeah, like, act is that red book. So yeah, act yeah. is that red book. If you're feeling suicidal or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I couldn't even sleep. I said, but it's not helping me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Know, <laughs> yeah know, so yeah. from there, I came off that wing. Then obviously, Howard. I was on Howard and and and, and Huntercombe. Okay. I was on Howard. And from Howard, I went to Mile Batten A. From Mile Batten A, I remember the first night. Um, I put a post in one of that videos on my YouTube where um, someone called me to the door. What, I, just a prisoner? Yeah, no, just a prisoner. Random yeah, prisoner. Random. I said, oh, it's cell 22. Come to your door. I've come to my door. The guy sounded like some gorilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this guy sounds mad. Yeah. Like you're on job, like. Yeah. You better comply, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you better comply. You don't know who's behind that yeah. door. They ain't being some nerd, bro. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah, what's up? He said, what you got for me? Swear it down. Swear it down. Swear it like that. <laughs> yeah. What you got for me? I said, huh? I said, I remember the youth name, the youth called Patterson, innit? Some dusty man. Yeah. And this, that, that, anyway. And then, anyway, he's like, What you got for me? I said, Huh? Said, oh, cell 22, what you got for me? It's on in the morning. But these time now, some big up bones, innit? From Holly Street, innit? Yeah. Get me, get me, bones has come to the door now. And then, as Sunny, innit? Get me, come to the door and he's like, Yo, hey, don't chat to the act like that. You dumb. Yeah, like, yeah, Patterson, yeah, yeah. patting up, you little prick. Like, rah, rah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got up in the morning, I see some. Dusty you. I said, you little... I said, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah, to yeah, yeah, I ended up slapping yeah, it on him afterwards. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that was my first night. But it was scary, cuz. You must have... Yeah, it must have been your first time in jail. My man's telling me to come to your yeah, door. You don't yeah, know what's yeah, going yeah, on. There's yeah. bad people. And they go, oh, and you can hear someone down there saying, yeah. ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was just me. Oh, it was just mad, when you're man. you're in Wales as well, you're a bit of window worrying. Yeah, man. You have to be mentally strong for yeah, them kind of places, to. man. I remember when I first... My first night in jail, yeah, you know when you're coming off the sweat box and you're going into jail. But when I first went, I was um, I was 19, I was a while, and I think I went to um, I was in Norwich, and then you know you get off the sweat box and then you get all your like your bedding kit and you know the plates and the bowls and everything like that. What you're gonna take back to the wing? Yeah, blue thing. Yeah, yeah, the blue things and that you're taking back to the wing. And then I remember like we was all walking to the wing, and then I heard someone shout at the window, "Fresh meat." Fresh meat, and then they're all doing like barking sounds and like. Arr. And you're thinking, I'm not a dickhead, <laughs> yeah. bro. Yeah, I was just thinking, bro, it's just gonna have to be on. Yeah, like, yeah you know, yeah. freaking it. So you know. Prick. Yeah, it's just, gonna, it's just gonna have to be on. Man, small as it is, do you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So obviously, you feel like because you hear all the stories and that, you feel like. Yeah, you've just got to do your thing. You know, like people like oh, find the biggest person and, and rap him. Do you know what I mean? And then, but obviously, not like that. But yeah, when I was first coming in, it was a bit intimidating. Myself. But one question, I just want to ask you. Yeah. Uh, are you Muslim? 
no, no. Okay. So that's you know what? Because a lot of people jump on for the fact that. Not yeah, just saying yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. a lot of people they convert alhamdulillah they revert to Islam yeah. alhamdulillah that's good for them but it's a lot of the fact that you just held yourself down and yeah now but all, all my brothers are Akis really my, like yeah, you're, 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 in, in jail my my niggas they're Akis do you know what I mean some yeah. of them are not do you know what I mean but the the real niggas that I've, I was around here yeah, were Akis do you know mm. what I mean don't get me wrong I've I've had that chat you know. But obviously, I was raised a Christian, and I used to go to church and da 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 da. Your God, your God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Obviously, we, we you go Sunday church and that in jail. Yeah, before they locked it. Yeah, down before they used yeah, every yeah, Sunday yeah. you was there. And I, I yeah, and I'm, I'm a, like proper Christian. Do you get it? So yeah, like, yeah. I'm not one of them people that just say it. Da, 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 da. That's how I was raised. Yeah, yeah. So like, but obviously with the brothers and that, yeah, they're just happy that I'm a man of the book. That's that's what man say. Like you're a man of the book. Like do you know what I mean? The man of the book. Yeah. Yeah. Like so. Like you know. It's all the same prophets. Yeah, if, don't get yeah. me wrong. I've studied the Quran as well, and it's, it's basically the same thing, man. It's little little differences. Yeah, jibs and jabs have just been changed. Yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, like I've been in all the high securities, and but that's how you know. But that's, the reason why I asked you that question is the fact that's how you know you're a leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're yeah, a leader yeah, yeah. because Respect, you're not. Yeah. You get me. You're your own man. You make your own decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, get me? you don't feel like you, you you're because a lot of people feel like, oh, if you go in jail, I want to convert to Islam. Because I even see certain youngers that hit me up right now and say, When I go and Joe, you know what? I'm going to become Muslim. I said, Bro, come Muslim on your own terms. Yeah, if you want to take a shahada, yeah. you feel like this is the true religion. Yeah, and you've looked it. into it. Don't yeah. do it because you feel like it's a trend. Yeah. No, but man ain't doing it. I wouldn't say it's a. I think some men are doing it for trends. Yeah, yeah not but a lot of man, but not, not A lot of men are not doing it for trends, but there's some man that yeah. are do it for this. Like, they want to jump on wagon in a way. It's protection, my brother, because like. I've been in a lot of jails here yeah, where it's, it's basically yeah. Muslim run. Do you know what I mean? All the, the brothers have got it on smash. Yeah. And then obviously, as you know, in jail, if you touch a brother, everyone's on you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, every everyone's on you so it can get real peak. But for me, like, real recognised, real kind of thing. So yeah. when I was in jail, I was with the real niggas and yeah. there was acts. So even though I was, I've, been, I've been in situations where I, where I had beef with Aki, but then the, the Akis have squashed it or they've all had man. They like, don't try to flip it on yeah, you. They're not flipping on me because... But they know real, recognise real. They yeah, know your yeah, good, like, good hearted good heart, brother. Yeah, good hearted. He's a good yeah, brother. Yeah, like, yeah. You must be on the wrong. Like, like allow yeah, it, man. Yeah, yeah. You can't be wrong and strong. And that's the good thing about brothers. I, like. Yeah, I'm not a troublemaker. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I will never bump you. I'm just a straight guy. But yeah. then if a man bumps me and I need to set it, yeah, you're not. Then, you're not then, yeah. Then, even though it's, it's an act, the acts are going to say, Rav, you did wrong. You need to pattern this. So da, 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 da. Yeah. But like, a lot of guys are coming jail, especially youths as well. Like a lot of guys will, will come jail and they will be intimidated, and they'll feel like they need to um, convert so that they're protected. And do you know what I'm saying? But mm. you don't actually need to do that. Like if you got a clean heart, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like if you do it, for, if you do it for the right reason, do it for the right reason. If, if you're getting educated in jail, then that's fair enough. But if you got a clean heart and you're just a real youth to yourself, anyways, yeah. You're gonna be accepted by all types of people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like I've done the high securities and around some real niggas and man just yeah, we've just been cool. Like, I've yeah, been yeah. Right. What was your favourite food in jail? What on the servery? Or on the canteen sheet? The whole um, goddamn thing. The whole goddamn thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The whole goddamn thing. I would just say, boy, I love it when the man they used to make the dumplings, you know. Oh, in the kettle. Yeah, in the kettle yeah, and yeah, in the yeah. cool, in the little macro and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to, I used to like when I used to make, um, is it banoffee pie? Banoffee, yeah, yeah, yeah. From the biscuits, the yeah, crushed biscuits. Yeah, I used yeah. to like that. Um, and used to like the cheesecake on the servery. Did you have cheesecake when I was there? One, ISIS. What, one Joe had cheesecake. Yeah, ISIS one had Joe cheesecake. Um, what else, man? Um... I don't know, man. The cod, a fish, fish cod. I don't know. Uh, the fish now, I like the chicken, but I like to cook the chicken you in the kettle. You have to cook it. You have to cook it. Because because you just, it's, like, it's it, the pigeons, it's not chicken. It's pigeons, yeah. <laughs> yeah Why are they so small for? Yeah, I like it. It's it the pigeons, bro. It's out the window, bro. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. eat that tonight. That's dinner. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally, that's what it was. And it's just like there's no seasoning on it. Yeah. There's nothing on it, so you have to chef it up. Yeah, definitely, man. What is your worst food in, Joe? Goulash. 
Beef goulash. Yeah, more oh, like, oh, All that. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. You, you, see, when you get given goulash on your own default, you're looking at the guy who's giving you. you say, like you, they're violating you. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, What's really, yeah. yeah, you're definitely yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's nothing to do with him. Yeah, He's yeah. just giving you He's the thing. He's just doing his job. Yeah, yeah but yeah, you're looking at it, bruv. Yeah. You got in for me. Me and you, we got a problem. Yeah, and from there, you're screwing my man from yeah, one day. Yeah, yeah, like, are you giving my. Have you, ever done, have you ever gone to the server and you started to smile at the brothers? Yo, welcome, brother. And smile at the guy on the list of that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Bust yeah, me yeah, in it, bust yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I remember one time, bro, like, I was on default and the person tried to give me. I used to like the cake, innit? The cake, cake apple yeah. crumble, innit? Apple crumble, yeah. Yeah, that's just coming. Yeah, I just get the crumble, bam. But I used to, I remember sometimes I used to be on default and certain man used to try to give me the apple. And I'm not trying to give him the, uh, the, the dessert. The cake, yeah, I'm yeah. hurt, you know. I said, I was waiting that's, for that. That's I was waiting for that dessert the whole day. I'm thinking, bro, no, I want that. I end up scrapping my man. You yeah, know, nah, I guess like that. Nah, I guess like that because. Sit down. It, there's always enough cake. There's always spare cake. Do yeah, you know what I'm little saying? fat yeah, eats, fam. So, all the survey people wanted to do was get keep the extras for themselves. I see certain man see that goulash. I see certain man get slapped that goo, goulash yeah, in their yeah, face. Yeah, 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 hold yeah. that goulash about you giving me that. I swear down. But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that's lit. What was the worst injury you've ever seen in Joel? Like the worst, the worst thing that you've ever seen happen to a man, or even so. or even heard of maybe. The first thing, I, the worst thing that I seen happen to a man, um, I would say someone getting hot watered, bro, with sugar in it, man, and oh. things sticking to their face, and, and then it stinks. The like guy, bacon. Was, uh, the guy, uh, actually a handsome person, bro. Yeah. And when you see him, and like you're like, you're right, brother. Are you? You don't even want to say, are you alright? Because that's Cause the you worst know question. Not alright, yeah. Yeah, but just like speak, like you're like, you're right, brother. But you say, well, how's that? You don't want to ask a certain question. It's like yeah, yeah. you say, well, you watch the football, though. You chat to him like he's normal. And my man's trying to smile, but he can't smile because his face is all gonna crinkle up and yeah. and it's ah oh, it's deep, yeah. man. People are evil, man. Certain people yeah. are evil. I swear down, That's man. That's for life, is all, bro. Yeah, man. So yeah, I've man. I've seen that so many times. So it, what? Bad times. So many times, brother. That's one of the most common things, bro. More than chops. More than I see people get chopped. I see people get hot wood. And when it's done, you can smell like you know, like a bacon smell. Yeah. That's what it smells it's like. The, the skin, flesh, the flesh burning. If you do it with the sugar and the oil and that. Yeah, at Portland. I heard that Portland was the worst jail because. I've never done Portland. Shank, yeah, the Shank City. That was a jail, dangerous yeah. jail. Swell, all seven. Swell side as well. I heard that, yeah, if you come out of Swell side with no scars, you're the man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah everyone's yeah. getting buck 50 in there. Everyone, everyone. I don't care who you are. Yeah, yeah. Don't matter who you are. Yeah, you don't care that's where you're from. That's another thing that man's got to say to the youth. It don't matter who you are. If yeah. you're bad in your area or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You ain't got your people around you in jail. You can get... And you know what? Nowadays, man are putting hits on people's heads. So, man will just pay a nitty, like a nitty, like a 50 pound bit of spice, yeah? Which is only a little bit of paper. Yeah. So, to the man that's got the spice... To hot water man, man. To chop him or hot water him. So, you are so you might be in a dinner queue waiting to get your food and then the man just come from behind. You know, the, the, the razor blades. Yeah, just butt. Or, just wait. munch. And it's so quick. Cheeks all flapping down. You seeing all the inside of their mouth. It's horrible, bro. Evil. I know. I had. I see certain man. You know that were actually mashing their beating off their guns on the roads. Yeah. And when it comes jail, fam, they're on voluntary bang up, bro. Yeah, brother, too many. They don't know yeah. how to scrap, bro. Yeah. And they don't know how to look after themselves, bro. I see so much man that I come jail. That's your mama's has a oot on the roads. Yeah. I'm thinking, bro, why is he moving like this then? Yeah. And I'm coming like so. They get super real, and it yeah. depends. How far are you willing to take it, really? You see, if if it pops off here, yeah, how far are you really willing to take it if it gets serious? Do you know what I'm saying? And some of these guys will bust their gun and roll, but when it's... Or talk in their rap songs, like they're busting their thing, but yeah, deep yeah, down, yeah, yeah. I see certain man get swallowed in jail. Swallowed, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were talking this crud. Yeah, they're on the crud on the road, but I said some man, but everyone needs to understand that it's sometimes it's an image. This lifestyle is an image. image yeah, yeah, so yeah. don't think it's actually the goddamn thing. <laughs> The you may, yeah. <laughs> you me? like they say, like don't think it's a, it's, it's just an image. Don't think like people actually live that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, not yeah. always like that. It sounds yeah. good. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Certain people put in work, but yeah. certain people are overrating the thing. And yeah. I used to look at certain man like used to be on road like um that used to go uni that used to go mosque and that. I'm thinking, well, what to these guys like? Why are they yeah, not yeah. on the curb and that? But now I, I look at that and I admire them because they stuck to what they had to do. Yeah, yeah. They didn't follow the crowd. Yeah, 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 they yeah. listened to their parents. Yeah. And that's what you call gangster. Yeah, yeah, real shit. I mean, yeah. being kind, that's the new gangster. Yeah, 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 Helping yeah. people, that's the new gangster. Yeah, Positive energy, that's the good new gangster. 
coming with that negative energy. There's certain people that I'm on the phone, I can feel their energy. I don't want to be on the phone no more. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. I don't like that. To it's toxic. Yeah, it's toxic because you're going to end up. Like, even before I come here, I got someone, to, someone, remember, I got that prank call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, so I'm stripping yeah, the people. Yeah, like, yeah, someone yeah. prank called me that knew my number. That tried to so tell someone me. that you know as well. Yeah, yeah that yeah. knew me, but they're trying to f- that, trying to change my energy, trying to say yeah, like, yeah, get yeah. me, trying to say some rude that's, things and that. That's the I shit think, tone, brother. Get me, that's <laughs> not nice, man. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And that's not nice, man. But yeah, man. Yeah, come on. So, so yeah, what? That was the worst injury, yeah. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, do you have any advice for for kids or people that might be coming to prison? That might be like in that lifestyle. That do you know what I mean? Would you have any advice yeah. for them? Yes. Go on. All right, cool. The advice I'll give them is keep to yourself. To yourself, you haven't got nothing to prove. Do you know what I mean? Whilst you're in prison, if you're a God fearing person, if you don't believe in God, but if you're if you if you're Muslim, you're Christian, like go and pick up the Bible. Go and pick up the Quran. Quran yeah, yeah. Get me read. Gain knowledge while you're in there. Don't just sit in there like a patty. Yeah. Get me? Don't try to get high. Because yeah. half of my sentence, I try to get high. Yeah. <laughs> I try to make the time go fly. I'm thinking, as soon as this cell door closes, I'm billing it. But then when you ain't got weed, you're stressed. Oh, and, and someone came too that day and they didn't bust me. Yeah, we got you, a problem. Yeah, we got to them. Yeah, yeah. We got a problem. He don't yeah, like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he don't yeah, like me. Yeah, yeah. He said, he's a pagan. Yeah. Like, like, I'll, like, then I'll draw out the next thing. Say, my man, we need to go and get, grab my man quickly. Yeah, you know? yeah. And then before you know, how is he like, busting my man, but he's yeah, not busting yeah, he me? Bust you. Am I a dickhead then? Yeah, yeah. You're not, not written. It's not written your yeah. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that's the shade yeah, that thing. So, yeah, man. you end up doing a mad thing. Yeah, man. So, I'm saying, keep yourself to yourself. Don't, 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 don't lend nothing of nobody. Don't borrow. You don't borrow nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you could live without a mash, don't live. Don't don't have a mash. Don't have anything valuable. Yeah, cut. I agree that you cut. can you can be a victim. It depends who you are. I get me. You yeah, can be a big victim, bro. You can be a vi- like because as soon as you get that mash, I don't matter what jail you're in, yeah, you become a target. Car man people. will sell you. Sorry to interrupt. Man will sell you the mash, but they'll get someone else to rub that rub same mash. Yeah, rub it back. And they'll sell uh, and they'll get the mash back on half price. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> The koalas of the koalas, yeah, 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 I swear yeah, down, yeah, bro. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, man. So I say, keep yourself to yourself. Find God if you haven't got Him in you. Yeah. Um, educate yourself. Read your books, and yeah, man, just count your blessings. The fact that you're alive and God's put it, always think about the positive because He may have protected you from something out on the road. Yeah. You could have been killed. Something more dangerous could have happened to you. Yeah, you yeah. Understand? So. Well, I mean, Respect, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a big interview. Come on, my brother. We've done that thing, innit? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But instead I was doing up roads And my bro said he had my back I was down to a ride to deliver that smoke In school I was labelled a villain And his teacher said I did listen If I got caught for a fight I'm fibbing And one teacher said I go prison 